What's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. Back at it again with the tutorial videos on VR chat. Today we will be taking a look at textures and how to use them, where to get them, what you need, how to, what you can do with it. All right, so let's texture some stuff. First things first, when you're texturing repeating patterns like walls, floors, um, beds, anything like that, you're gonna want something called a seamless texture. So let's take a look here, seam. So any of these would work. As long as it's seamless, so it's a repeating pattern, you won't see any noticeable or less noticeable repetition, it will look cleaner. Let's grab, I will use one of the ones I have, but for your purposes, you can grab whatever you'd like. Okay, so once you download that, remember where you do your download location is, you'll need that. For me, I have a folder called Unity Textures. As you can see, here are all my textures. So let's import one of these. We'll go ahead and delete one. Let's say cast iron. Actually, parking lot, there we go. believe I have parking lot. There we go. So I have a folder here called textures. Make a new folder, keep it all organized, and drag and drop it in there. Step two is to create a new material. And call this park parking lot. I might already have one of those. I do, but this is fun, different name. Okay, with our material selected, you're going to drag and drop the image onto the, well, you'll see as soon as I find it. There it is. Drag and drop it here. I'm not even going to try to say that. I, I'll go, I'll go, Albedo. Drag and drop it over the Albedo. Now you'll see that if you drag and or click here, you can see a lot of different options and we're not gonna be covering these right now. If you wanna explore these different options and what they can do, go for it. Um, we will cover that at a later date. So we now have a material with a texture that's ready to be applied to an object. Let's create a cube. And just for demonstration purposes, have this, where is my cube? All right, it's way down here. Let's go look at this cube. Let's find our material, parking lot, and drag and drop it onto the object. You'll now see that it has a texture. In order, one of the ways to edit that texture, which you will find very useful and use in different ways, is the offsets for or the tiling right here. So let's say we need it to be more patterned. Like if this object was much, much bigger, you would need a bigger offset. Let's see, let's go ahead and scale that so you can kind of see what I mean. See, that would have to be a huge car to be able to fit in one of those spots. But we still want to use that texture in that big of an area. So what we'll do is adjust the offset, or the amount, say 20. See, now when we go in, it might fit a small car. So let's adjust it again to 
be a little bit more appropriate for this example. So we can see just how big of a difference this can be. So you will want to adjust this depending on what you need for your object texture. So another thing a lot of people use these for is posters. Let's look at how to make one of those. Let's make another cube. Name this poster two. I already have a poster, so we're gonna name this poster two. Where is that cube? All right, let's get this cube over here. Get it pretty thin. All right, good enough. All right, let's make a new material. We're going to name this poster 2. And we're going to import texture. Go down to our texture folder way down here. Go back to our material. Do we select it? And drag and drop it right on there. Or they can go back to the material and apply it here. Well, that's what we wanted, kinda. Now let's rotate it. Oop, we're on a Nope. There we go. Have a Pretty simple poster. Let's actually give that a little more give that a little more depth. There we go. Now if we wanted to we could make like a frame for that or something like that. Um then we might do that. We might we might do that, we'll see. But another thing you can do with these pretty easily is you can have a kind of a layered image. So just, we're not going to keep this, but just for an example, we'll go back to our poster. And let's put a brick layer over it. So we can get our secondary. And kind of layer the images. <laughs> that makes that look really trippy. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> kind of hurts my brain. Um, yeah, so you can do it with all kinds of different stuff. You can kind of do it over, let's try it over wood or something like that. And you can offset this as well. That's kind of how you do that. Kind of neat. You can see it kind of did the same thing here with this poster. Um, as far as textures go, they will wrap around the entire object. 
So I think that's going to about cover it for textures on the basic level. Should be able to do quite a bit with just that. Most of this, all of this was done with just that. So you can still make some stuff. Um, yeah, if you followed this and got your textures working the way you wanted them to, you know, leave a like and subscribe and comment below or, you know, do what you want to do. If you have any issues with this, let me know. I'll try to help you out and see what we can do. Till next time, guys. Have a good one.